Okay, we're on chapter four now. I honestly forgot each stage was like these bigger stages are separated into two. Like you got three and four for this and this like. Anyway. He's turned a Statue of Liberty. They're laughing at the concept of liberty. <laughs> oh my god. Behold. The true world has begun to stir from its prolonged torpor. Why is Elizabeth here? We have endured imprisonment. A long era of silence. Trapped in eternal slumber. Alexei. <laughs> Yet. Even the deepest slumber can be disrupted. By a single strike of lightning. He kind of sounds like the guy who voices Kazuhiro Miller. It might be. Robert Atkin Downs? It's not him, is it? That's a weird one. He played us like a damn fiddle! <laughs> so killed the bat. Killed the bat. Now I feel bad. It was either you or me bad. people and now there aren't people yeah ah fuck dick stabbed weird place to change weapon but whatever <laughs> After a while, you get so used to the weapons that are available that you're just a bit like, uh, what do I want to use today? Maybe I should use this. You know, it just gets a bit like, <sighs> yeah, he's dead. Killed him. For some reason, the triangle attack to obliterate him didn't work then, so I just took hits. Where do you guys come from? Oh, I fell from the ceiling, right? Snapped. Slicing and dicing. <laughs> uh. So I have to admit, I completely forget this part of the level. Oh, I don't remember it at all. Uh, from when I played it in the past. Uh, the deep past. Oh, fuck. Dead. Give me the box. these big pink ones again. What a weird color scheme and like design. So it's like, you'll see the same execution move a lot on them because it's like one of their arms always falls off. And you just don't want to fight them in kind of like a slow way after a while. Because they have quite decent life bars. You know in the base game I do not remember there being these black colored ones. I assume they have more moves and more health. 
help. but it's not really even that important in this mode to be checking for boxes because there's no hidden upgrade items. I'm just doing it so that I have healing items because... yeah. Ah, it's got the purple floaty beanie guy again. Ah! He just floats up here and grabs you. That was the most public domain door squeaking noise. I'm really good at like recognizing public domain and that was like the Wilhelm scream of door squeak noises. <laughs> you hear that in everything. Doors don't even make a big noise when you open them. What was the need? It's always fighting me on stairwells when the camera freaks out. This is okay, but like, the game doesn't want you to play to fight in tight corners. It wants you to fight in big battle areas, and then the game puts characters for you to fight in tiny areas. Not that your weapons really clash off the walls a lot. Ah, free healing item, why not? I have to walk all the way back. <laughs> okay. Ah, dog. Oh no. Damn it. You guard, because they keep doing that stupid dive attack and then they just grab you out of it. Dog tech is ridiculous. Good. <gasps> for some reason they modeled an entire street there and it's just set dressing for about five seconds and you move to the next area and there's not a single area like that in the rest of the game. Unless it's in another level. And there's these series of streets. Thing. There's a thing up there 
it. I'm sat here like, huh. You know, this is such a narrow area. I must be able to like, wall jump somewhere cool. crystal skull up there. I got loads of them in the first playthrough of the game and it seems to carry over to every other playthrough of the game. I think. I think. I don't really remember getting many in the base game uh, when I played it all the years back, but basically... Damn it. it just won't let me wall jump to it. I don't get it. I'm dumb. Just give it to me. I should let me. Damn it. Uh, they just tell me that getting the crystal skulls gives you a discount at the shop. Which is like only slightly useful in the Sigma version because in Sigma all of the upgrades are free. They don't cost you anything. Even if you're playing the game in the normal story mode. You're just given them at certain times, so... Yeah, like, the, the discount is... That was pretty cool. That explosion didn't... catch the other barrels. The physics in this game. Oh, I'll just turn around. No quick turn. Or if there is, I not in, I haven't found it yet. Liberty. A wall run on everything. I'm thoroughly confused. I'm dumb. There's a tiny green bin. Maybe I can stand on the tiny green bin. No. 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 Okay, I don't know what this wants from me. Maybe I have to go forward and then go back. I don't know. Maybe I have to... Let's just go over here. This just got the ladder. <laughs> oh man. The thing about wasting time looking at these things when you're recording, there's always that pressure of like, oh, I'm just wasting viewer time, so I'm just not gonna like sit and try and find this crystal skull on how to get it, because I'm just, yeah. Not much point. Okay, jump. No. Well, I could jump to the adjacent road on that side and maybe that was... no. The battle music is happening so I have to murder things. Such a way of life. I don't like the proportions of those. I don't know what it is, but it's just like... Why do they have to have giant pink bare naked asses in my face because half the time when you're looking at them they're just sticking their ass right in the camera and you're just like oh like oh I wanna see livery demon ass the whole time. Just the legs and the proportion is just so weird. You see them throughout the rest of the game and they're just such like I don't like the design, I feel like it's like generic but also just weird. Same time uh, I'm just bitching. Maybe if I go down here. There's a empty area. Uh on the shop and a and a box. Shop in a box. Now, oh, that's 
one is a big empty area. Guys. I don't want to fight you, so I'm just gonna... Is there anything else in this area, or is that just literally like... Fiends are for... for life, or for real? Far out. Oh, yay. You really fight a lot of these in this area. You fight like, a lot. I think this is one of those areas in the game where there's not a lot of demon variety yet. They introduce more later in the game, so it's not just you fighting waves of pink dudes over and over and over again. Just... Stop, he's already dead. Ah, oh. Get out of that. Yeah, they start to introduce dudes that are not just the big king variety and this color. Uh, they actually have you fighting some different, more interesting-ish designs. Because, yeah, for a bit it's just, hey man, you want to fight pink dudes? Not really, well here is over a hundred pink dudes. They're just like, because they really do filter in the enemy types real slow. And I remember thinking, really? A new enemy type? Now? <laughs> It's near the end of the game and you're gonna release a new enemy foot soldier. It's a bit late in the game. That yeah, also happened to me in uh, Batman Arkham Knight, which I finished recently. I got it on sale and I have to say it was pretty good fun. Oh, I thought it was dead end. I was trying to look for boxes. Hello generic monster who couldn't be more generic. I am a big grey monster with no features. Aren't I scary? His damage is scary, that's about it. Uh, it's like a Dark Souls boss of a Dark Souls boss is like 50% more generic. Nah. That did no damage, holy shit. Oh, fucking me, got me. Just really block that shit. Dead. Ah. really weird and ironic about this is I found that the Greater Fiends were the easiest boss fights in the game and the hardest boss fights in the game these mid bosses or just the big dumb big come off the pain slow monster bosses now if I run away you can't hit me State. I don't want to fight you anymore, I'm lazy. Is he dead? I'll stab you in your face. face. Oh no, I will be forgotten as I fall off this bridge. Bye, who is that? I'm unmemorable. Spe speaking of unmemorable. <laughs> Go with Sonya. How is it out there? Beans are everywhere. The statue. 
Statue of Liberty. That's the source of all this. There's a powerful fiend there. The helicopter noise is so high. Be careful. Something that I'll mention that will freak the fuck out of the rest of this playthrough is Ryu regularly flies on Sonya's chopper and then flies in Sonya's chopper. He's always hanging off the facade one way or another, and it's like, for fuck's sake, just get in the goddamn chopper after a while. Yes, we get it, you're a ninja. <laughs> like, you hang off the things and stand on the wing. Please, that's not how physics work. You're not gonna stay on the wings of a flying aircraft from sheer grip and willpower alone. That's not how it works. Ah, <laughs> around these chapters I realize man I, I gotta really mash that R1 button to reset that camera in every situation because otherwise he will just combo off screen took me a playthrough and a half to realize hey guys it's where you would get where you can get the incendiary shuriken Apparently, this glass was shuriken proof. Look, incendiary shuriken. It's a shame they don't let you have them in this game. They kind of remove a statue in one of these rooms as well, which in the story mode, you this is where you get uh, the endless fang sword. The vigor mythology. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. The deep lore of these games. Hey, huh? I knew they were around the corner, that's why I wall ran. Yeah. Take that. There's a statue in one of these exhibits. I thought it was in that room, maybe it's in another room. Where if you interact with it, it's like, ha ha ha, these Americans are getting our Japanese mythology all wrong. What dumbasses? <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck museum have you been to? Hey guys, did you know that there's always a samurai exhibit underneath the Statue of Liberty and they get everything wrong. <laughs> Hey guys, look, I'm using the hammer thing. Are you happy? Does this is this what you want? <laughs> Faster than I remember. I'll stop standing on debris. Ah, oh, look at this knob. I'm gonna stand in the corner. Not allowed to stand in corners. Gotta stand in the middle. Yeah, this blood red sword needed to have the blood washed off of it. It was annoying me. Oh, I I could have wall ran that by doing the corner wall run, but the game didn't want me to. Well, let me stick to that wall. Do I break it? Do I do I, Oh I run up here. Die. <laughs> he's slashing away at him and he's not getting a hit and it's just he's just taking it for like ten minutes. Uh. A tent. A box. A dead person and a box. That's not a dead person, that's a gate. 
Oh man, I'm blind. I'm blind! Ah. Uh, Top for time, I guess. <laughs> God, there's a lot of stairs. I don't know why they randomly block off a stairway up all the way up here. Like they're like, no, you can't go up this stairway. It's like you telling me the game cannot handle me going up the wrong stairway? Does it break the game if I go up the wrong stairway? Is that why you blocked it from my progress? Well, it's a big deal. I wanna know why. The dev was like, no, if you give them two stairways, they'll get lost and confused. Even though they're clearly going up to the <laughs> statue. And the enemies are coming from above. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of insulting my intelligence a little bit. But then again, they got rid of a lot of... Oh, all of the... Get a key. Go back like this. Like, oh, sorry, there's like a double staircase. If I see two sets, I'll go up the staircase, down the other side, and go, oh, I'm lost. Not that stupid, Jesus. This as well. Why? Why? Okay, I chose the wrong path, so I am now punished by, with gameplay. Uh... Oh, can I hit you? I'll uh, just slap you a bit. Slap you a bit. Wow, you don't take... Wow, they take no damage. So, if you go the right-hand side, you have to go all the way around. But if you go the left side, you could have just gone in the left side. And there's no real way of knowing or remembering that. This guy just sat camping with a bow and arrow. What a nerd. Uh, a box. Ah, uh, a wall. Ah. Uh, points. Oh no, po progress is blocked. Because there's one knobber sat on the top, plinking away with his bow and arrow, and I have to find him across the tall banister. Ah. Uh, yeah. Please just stop. There's a crystal skull normally hidden up here, but to further prove that your crystal crystal skull, your crystal skull, skull of Monte Cristo, <laughs> uh, to prove that the progress is like kept across saves. I didn't get the one over there because I'm stupid, but I did get the one in a previous playthrough up here because it's very visible and easy to get. So. Yeah, that does carry over, if you were wondering. Don't use the lift, just... If the lift is ever too slow in your daily life, do that. <laughs> That's my advice to people. Yeah, man, Arkham Knight was... I was late to that party, because let me tell you, if you play Arkham Asylum when it comes out, and then you play Arkham City when that comes out, then you have a friend that you work with who's like, shut up, Arkham Origins is really good, it's so good I'm gonna force you to play my copy of the game. And you're like, this is just like, I'm so done with this formula. And then Arkham Knight comes out, and you don't have, like, enough interest anymore, and you're like, oh, I'm just tired. Yeah, you really need a long break between those. And I played it and was like, you know what, this was a really solid iteration of exactly the same thing, <laughs> but with, like, more stuff to do, I think. But then I got to the end of the game and was like, damn, I think that was actually a little short, but, like... I don't know. And there were so many Batmobile sections that you got to the point where it's like you had to fully upgrade your Batmobile before you fully upgrade anything else. Because, you know, otherwise the game becomes hella hard by the end of it. Because they're just like, yo dude, here's a load of tank sections. 
which is fine, but then it's like there's only a handful of stealth and uh, action sections. And I don't know. Another example of, yo, we're just gonna introduce uh, enemy combatants of different types right on the final level for you to fight, and you're like, oh, another thing to deal with. <laughs> You don't get to play as the side characters enough. Like you, you play as like you play with. You don't really play as Robin in a few fights, and then you never see him again for the rest of the game, basically. And there are like certain really baked-in walking sections where you quote unquote play as Joker or Harley, not Harley. I recognize that stick. The repugnant stench of the dragon lineage. <laughs> that is such a Japanese trope, isn't it? I can smell your blood and it's filthy. That's Disgusting. Exactly. You humans have You're a low born. <laughs> I have filthy ninja. <laughs> your feeble minds could never comprehend. The music your of the feeble mind echoing through the cosmos. You may call me Alexei! You may call me Kazuhira. <laughs> One of the four greater fiends and master of lightning. And master of fiddles. <laughs> if it's the same voice actor, that makes sense. If it's not, it isn't. So when I played this, and I always say this, when I played this without recording it, I just annihilated this guy and was like stun locking the fuck out of him, but now he's actually getting hits in and I'm like, how do you? Ah, he hit me. And we're in this weird like nebula. We're stuck in Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Cringe move. What is that? Yeah, kill him. Murder him. Like, like what I said, the health bars just go down much faster. And you might be like, oh yeah, the, the people who've played these games before might be like, oh yeah, but you fight them again. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him Ryu. Such is the fragility of evil. No. Somehow I was super easy. And yeah, you do fight them again. But they're not much harder. They're still like a piece of piss. Especially Alexei. Alexei's like a fucking joke this entire fucking game. <laughs> I don't know why. He's like so piss easy when I fought him every time on my own. Oh no. Not the Statue of Liberty! <laughs> Damn you all to hell! Wait, where the fuck did her torch and book go? Don't look at her creepy non-feet feet. This weird kind of base thing she's got going on like she's a chess piece. I mean, I've never been to the actual Statue of Liberty, maybe that's what it looks like. I know it doesn't have chains of lightning and it can't move around. <laughs> this was when I played this game on my own and thought, the fuck is this game? I fought a Buddha statue and now I'm fighting electric Statue of Liberty. What the fuck? Wacky. She's a pain in the ass. Got these area of effect attacks, and I'm like, fuck, am I, am I supposed to beat your hands? Is it just the Buddha fight again? It takes me a while to notice that if you, like, stun her on one side, it's because you broke the chain on her hand. So the first playthrough, I'm like, uh, can I just keep hitting your hand? I 
I got both of them. Now what? Oh, I'm supposed to hit the throat choker, but I'm too stupid. No, pass me, you're stupid. Oh, no, no, you got it, you got it. Good, good work, pass me. No, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm like, uh, but duh, let's get the hand. No, the hands are done. Mate, the hands are done. Ah! Ah, I'm stupid. No! Oh, why is it not doing damage? I'm thinking, what have I done? I, it's not letting me win. Ah, why aren't she resting her hands in her hitbox? No. Let me hit you. Ah! Fuck. If only I could look at visual indicators in the environment. Ah. Oh. Balls. Dead. Because of my own stupidity, mostly. <laughs> Because obviously the Statue of Liberty is a really nice statue normally and needs to be controlled by lightning before she would do such a bad thing as randomly attacking what unlike the Buddha statue, the Buddha statue is just a dick who is doing that anyway because he's a dick. Everyone knows that. <laughs> like, you know? Like what is this weird canon? Statue of Liberty is really nice, she has to be controlled by a demon to wanna murder you, but the Buddha statue just Woke up and chose violence. <laughs> like, I guess. Because he had nothing controlling him. Ah, oh, fuck. It's not going well. But otherwise, it's roughly the same fight as the Buddha fight, the Buddha statue fight, where it's just big, big statue does big hand slam, then does area of effect elemental attack that you have to outrun. But she's got shock waves and slaps the ground more. That's literally it. Oh, come on, man. Just, just die. Oh, the fence got in my way. I will throw shuriken. Even though they've done nothing. <laughs> they don't even interrupt attacks on something this big. Just, just let me win. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll oh, go for the wrong hand again. Ah! Oh. A win. Let me win. Let me win. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit the hand. Oh. Oh. Am I gonna lose because I'm stupid? Aha! Use fire! It wasn't very effective. I did nothing. <laughs> Dead. Maybe next time I'll learn what future me knows. Or maybe not. There you go. <laughs> Oh, straight in. Duh. Arr. To be fair, they could have made the, uh, the gray, green seals a little more visible on top of the gray, green statue. Maybe. You know what I mean? Like, could have gave me a hint. 
Yeah, I made them a little more blue. Like the lightning, you know. Because you can't really see them when she's flailing her arms around and they're hidden behind her hands. And you're like, oh, there's a giant Illuminati or Eye of Horus on her hand. I guess that's not what the Statue of Liberty is supposed to have. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I don't even remember this or the other statue boss fight being in the base game because I'm pretty sure they weren't, so... There are a few boss fights in this game where you're like, that wasn't in the base game. It's fine though. Ish fine. I don't mind. starts flashing and it's like thanks after I've worked out the gimmick. Ah not the ranged attacks. Where are those lightning orbs even coming from? They're coming from over her shoulder. this move at the moment, don't we? Please just end it. No, don't die again. Yeah. Fuck you. Do I hit the hand? I'm pretty sure it was the hand before. It was the hand before. Oh, no. Yes. Last time it was the fucking hand. I remember running up the hand. It was that like God of War. Fuck. Don't die now. Oh, stop throwing shit at me. Just fucking just die. <laughs> okay, I'll try the head. I'm pretty sure it was the hand. Oh, it was the head. I'm wrong. It's always the head. Just remember. And now we've... We've destroyed America. Time to go. She's somehow still animated and is like, no! <laughs> Even though the curse is lifted. Oh, maybe she's not. No, her hand is moving. Weird. I win. Must <laughs> every time.